And certainly across Asia Pacific, it's one of the largest regions with, with organic growth still to grow. And so by the end of the end of the decade, we expect about 400 million additional subscribers to come into the to the ecosystem. I mean, that's a pretty significant rise, rising to about 70% of the population. But even then, at the end of the decade, there's still some place to go. Okay. Um, with 5G, uh, you know, now four years old in the region, and some of the leading markets of the world um, coming from Asia Pacific, such as South Korea, Singapore, Australia. Um, we're seeing strong adoption of 5G already, um, and by this year we expect in some of those markets, uh, 5G will reach mass adoption, um, so exceed more than 40% in some of those markets, even 50, more than 50% in South Korea by the end of this year. Wow. So we are seeing strong take up. You know, we passed more than 1 billion 5G subscribers last uh, at the end of last year, mm -hmm. heading on track to 1.5 this year. Okay. So it is growing strong. And what have been some of the key drivers? And how, how much is, is fintech, the adoption of fintech behind this? Uh, fintech is really a, a fast-growing uh, ecosystem in, in Asia Pacific. And it's not just the, the services being used over mobile. It's actually what does mobile enable. I mean, our economies, you know, our, our society, really, really propelled by, uh, by COVID, really um, f you know, encourage adoption of fintech and other services. And I mean, most of us are all walking around the towns now, you know, not paying with uh, cash and cards. It's now, now using a mobile. And the one thing you can't leave home with yeah. is your mobile. <laughs> what about security? Has it kept pace? So I think what, it's important that we do maintain trust um, and, and confidence in the, in the system and for people to go on the internet as we penetrate closer to that 100% uh, subscriber penetration. That is one of the key things we need to keep uh, on top of mm -hmm. because maintaining trust is what's going to let people enter confidently and start to use mobile broadband, start to use services like fintech. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.